what's going on guys so this is officially me this is my first time doing a uh, front cam video so i use my hands a lot that's another thing but i just want to talk about guys the double masters release that is coming up on this friday where i think the boxes are going to land personally well i don't i can't tell you exact pricing but what i think will happen with the price i'd love to hear your guys' uh comments below or your thoughts and what you think is going to happen with the box prices but i'm going to go over a couple things um talk about my opinion where i think uh or what I think will happen with the market and kind of go over that. And before we start though, I did want to give a shout out to myself and everyone who streams on Whatnot. Um, there's a link down below, guys. You can get a free $10 towards your first purchase on Whatnot. A lot of great streamers on there, huge streamers opening up anything from Magic, Pokemon, Weiss, Flesh and Blood. Uh, Pokemon is huge and on there. I think I said that. Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, MetaZoo, everything on there. Check it out. If you love seeing packs ripped, that is the place to be. Um, and then I also have a Patreon down below where I can, um, where we do rips and box battles and things like that. So do check it out and, uh, we'll get right into the, everything here. So first thing I want to mention guys is where the box prices are with double masters right now. Um, we're looking at like, I think TCG play is sitting around 275 for a collector box and Amazon is sitting around like 285 and, or 290, somewhere around there. And the draft boxes are sitting somewhere around like 350, 380. Um, I think I saw as low as 340 right now. And uh, yeah, so those are where the current uh, sealed box prices are sitting. Now, we are a couple days away from TCG Player allowing sellers to post their uh, singles on there. But for now, we are only seeing the stores post their singles. Now, that's going to drive, uh, obviously cause a downward shift in the singles market. But as it sits right now, the EVs on the boxes... Um, I did a scan of some of the box openings I did here on YouTube. They're sitting anywhere between like on the draft boxes, 180 to 250% on average. Some draft boxes are seeing as much as a 300% EV when opening them. Uh, if you transfer them into, you know, if you convert them into singles and the collector boxes are, you know, they're seeing anywhere from a 300 to 500% EV on where the value of the box is sitting right now. So that's something to keep in mind. The cards that are holding uh, a majority of that value in the collector box is the textured foils. Um, I've seen a couple sales on the Ulamog sitting anywhere between uh, $600, $500, and $700 with only a few posted. And a couple of uh, Kozilex, which sold for quite a bit. The highest Kozilex I think I saw was around $1,000 in sales. And um, down below that was around $800 with, once again, anywhere between four to five posted in the sales there. Now, one thing to really note is I've been watching quite a few of the openings here on YouTube and over on Whatnot, and I have seen a lot of textured foils pulled. In my case, personally, I pulled two textured foils, one being the Ulamog and one being the Emrakul, one on Whatnot and one live here on, uh, on the video I had uploaded for YouTube. So that was two textured foils, and only a few cards come in the textured treatment. Keep that in mind. So... Um, Definitely not as rare as I think the Neons were, so something to keep in mind, but they're much more playable than the Neons, so that's another thing to keep in mind. Um, so people are going to be after them, not just collectors, but players could be after these cards as well. The other thing I've noticed is that there has been actually a lot of seals pulled, and a lot of people were comparing this to the uh, Jeweled Lotus. Um, my opinion is the seal will drop. I remember Matt Caster Mage, I watch his channel, big fan of his, and uh, he had mentioned that the seal would drop to as low as like uh, 80 to 60 dollars and i think that may end up coming true the reason for that is that the seal is obviously not um as common or not as great as some of the other tutors and people were comparing it to the jeweled lotus pull rate so it does seem like it's a little bit higher than the jeweled lotus i saw two seals borderless come out of a single collector's box on whatnot as well and because of that i don't think the price is going to hold this like 400 to 600 dollar range for the borderless treatments and you know anywhere between like the 300 to 200 dollar range on the standard treatment um the etched are going to be interesting to watch because those only come out of the collector's box i personally hit a borderless foil out of a draft box on an opening on one knot so the etched foil is the one that does not come out of anything but the collector box while all the other uh variations of that card will come out of different ones um so those are kind of uh, some things I wanted to mention there, especially because those are the much higher valued cards. There's some cards that just don't make sense where they're sitting. Uh, Earl, the Mist uh, Walker, I think, for example, an etched foil is sitting around 200 bucks on TCG Player with only pre-sales available. I think we'll see those come down as everyone starts listing and their inventory comes to uh, 
you know, comes to market on Friday, I believe it'll become available for everyone to see. People are able to upload their inventories right now, but they're not visible to the public until Friday. Uh, so yeah, that's where those are sitting. I personally, on my box openings though, I had a, right now, TCG player, I, I'm pricing per TCG player low. It's sitting around $600 for one of the collectors I had opened for myself personally here on YouTube. And the other one that hit the textured foil was around $1,500. So obviously something's gonna need to give. It's either gonna be that box price or it's gonna be the singles. So they have to come into alignment. Otherwise people are just gonna open up boxes to flip the singles or the box prices are gonna have to drift upwards to match that single value price. Um, you know, just a, a common uh, supply and demand there. Um, I'm just looking at my notes here. I'm, I'm kind of like doing this on the fly, but it's a pretty quick video. I just wanted to go over that. I do have an opening coming up here on Friday. Hopefully I'll be posting one later today as well for a collector. Um, and we'll kind of go through through those, see what we get out of that. Um, these won't be from a single case. It's kind of going to be from uh, just random boxes. So it'll be interesting to see what the pull rate is there. Uh, so yeah, that is basically it. I don't want to keep you guys here any longer. I just kind of wanted to give my thoughts on where the market was going to go and uh, what I think will happen with all that. Just a quick recap. So two textured foils came out of my, my collector case. I've hit a total of, in 11 boxes, I've hit a total of four seals, although I had a much lower hit rate than some people I've seen with as many as three seals per, per case of draft boosters, and they've hit as many as like five seals in a single case of um, collector boosters. So keep those numbers in mind. Um, once again, I just went over the really high value cards here and uh, what is really commanding the premium and driving that EV up on these boxes. Once again, comment down below, guys. Let me know what you guys think on the prices of the boxes, where you think they're gonna go, and if you guys think these prices are gonna hold. And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Also, provide a comment down below. I am running, on my previous video, I am running a giveaway for a Sensei's Divining Top because I just wanna say thank you guys. I never imagined my channel would um, gain so many viewers, or so many, uh, so many views and so many followers so quickly. So just to show my appreciation, I will be giving away that top on Friday's video. So make sure to leave a comment on that previous video and follow for a chance at that. And once again, make sure to check out the link for Whatnot down below, and I'll see you guys there.